You know how much I love catapults. I went all the way to Germany to see YouTube catapulting sensation Jörg Sprava. So when another YouTube star, Gamekeeper John, says come to the UK Catapult Championships, <laughs> how see? can I say no? at the Yellow Lion pub outside Sheffield. This is the third year of the competition in its current form. 2012 it started. There was a shoot in 2011 before it. So what have we got here today? A 10 metre UK title, a 20 metre UK title, 15 metre Welsh title, a pickle fork event which is a catapult with a less than half inch gap, and a polo shot which is first one to hit it in the quickest time, wins £300. So there's loads of trophies up for grabs and it's going to be a good one. In each competition you have to hit a four and a half centimetre bullseye which scores 10 points and you have seven shots. A total of 70 points to play for. Gamekeeper John is current reigning 10 metre champion. There's plenty of people who have big 70s so pressure's on. <laughs> yeah. Before we get going let's have a little on technique from one of the greats. Keith Dighton is among the top shooters in the country. He moves the frame away from his face. He uses earplugs in competition to help him zone out. It's just blocking out everyone. Um, simple as that. Keith uses tubular elastic instead of flat elastic. With tubes, they do last a bit longer. And you can, I mean, I use my setup for hunting and targets. Same. Also, with um, respect to the tubes, it's easier to, to change the band set because all you do is you go click and it's done. Where's your shoot? Keith is sponsored by a Chinese catapult company. Down come other people that make the elastic that goes on the catapult. They solely make tubes and frames. And because I shoot their tubes, they sponsored me and make me, uh, well, basically give me free tubes. So all is good. I'm going to pay for it, which is good. You know things are about to get going when a ton of 9.5mm steel ball arrives in the back of a transit van. The scoreboard arrives, another sign that the competition is about to start. That's Skip Mann, one of the people who founded the UK Catapult Association. Well what it was, uh, I used to air rifle uh, and it comes to the point where uh, people don't like you shooting air rifles on the land and things like that so I took it uh, I'm on myself to start firing a catapult. Uh, uh, went on the internet and there was only me that was really getting into it and I spoke to a gentleman called Marcus Senior from London uh, and he said to me how do you fancy getting something together uh, so we made a association called the UK Catapult Association uh, it was £10 a year and out of that you got free meetings you could bring your children because this is what it's all about uh, every children that's turned up today uh, they get an Easter egg and they've got a colouring book and they've got all different things like that if you're any good with a catapult, this is the place to come. Uh, we've got Gamekeeper John, everybody knows Gamekeeper John, uh, and there's several other good, very good shooters. Running a show with this lot is not easy. Skipman manages to get a team photo. He even manages to get everyone signed into the competitions. If your name's not on the board, we can't shout you to say that you're going to have a show. Thank you very much for all listening, seeing as though none of you are out. <laughs> when the scoreboard moves down to the range, it's a sign that it has started. This is the 20 metres, won last year by Jumbo. So what did it take yeah. to win that last year? Uh, there's some good shooting, but... What was the score? Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but we've, we've won that twice now. Hitting a target that far away with a tiny steel ball launched by a piece of wood or metal and elastic is not easy. For every winner, there are more than a hundred second places or lower. Busy competition behind me. I scored seven, uh, not the 25 I need to go through, but there's still the 10 meter. I use a gamekeeper John Catapult. He put new elastic on my old Milbro, but it felt, well, a bit 1950s compared to the techie marvels on show. There are lots of catapult makers here today. I think the SLR uh, rifle bullets, and that's a 12, 12 gauge shot. Acer is the Lamborghini of them all. 
This is a catapult that I've made myself. It's a Sam Stanley blank and the scales are walrus ivory with mosaic pins, brass faces and there's roughly about 18 inch of 2 mil solid silver inlay. That particular one I wouldn't sell but if I was going to sell it I'd want to well, offer the next excess of 300 quid for it. Can I just say, if you call me there sir, what a best trap man. I don't even know where he is, he's not even that Shoot <laughs> Gamekeeper John makes his own range of catapults. We start off in um, blank form. These are just like literally a couple of pound each. Finish the self, um, sand the self. Um, and you got, these are just cheaper plastic ones. They're solid frames, but you know, the made of plastic, you can hit it with a ball as many times as you want, drop it, throw it, it's okay. And the, the handmade wooden ones, as you can see, the laminates all come sided the couple myself. But um, these are the ones which I'm mainly making. I've also just started doing the aluminium range. But um, I get those brought in and cast from my patterns. It's not something which I actually make. I'll show you my own personal one which I shoot, but it's a bit um, sim better days. <laughs> but if you shoot, it's called TTF this one through the fork shooting. And if you pull back, I don't know if you can see the little dimp in the middle. And um, that's what goes on my target then. you got what you call an anchor point, which is that one, pretty much like archery. Um, as long as you get them two points right, your anchor and reference, you should be able to shoot the same, but it doesn't always happen with catapults. Tim Oram is here from Suffolk Slingshots. I've been shooting catapults for 40 years, and it's always been a sort of a thing that I go back to, and um, I basically got ill with my back when I worked as a postman, and um, started watching a lot of Gamekeeper John's videos and stuff, and decided I'd have a go at it myself. So, and you know, it sort of developed from there, really. This is a little pickle fork, but this one comes over the top, so the ball would go over the top, whereas the through the fork, which comes around the side, would go through the, through the fork. If you are old enough to remember the 1950s, you may have seen the first Milbro catapults for sale. They're still around today. Some people like a, an old school style catapult, but, you know, some people want target catapult, ergonomic to fit. So, and there's so many different styles of bands and things these days, that at the end of the day, to get the perfect catapult, I think it's a dream. So, this, this is a popular one that we make. Uh, it's a H -H HTS, which is a Hathcock target sniper. So, it will do uh, various types. You can shoot over the top, through the forks, it will take tubes. Oh, a million miles different from the original Millbrill. Things have moved on tremendously. With the help of the, uh, the associations and things like that, the internet these days and people sharing the ideas, you know, and the designs, people's designs, uh, you know, the world of the oyster, really. Back at the competition and Skipman reckons he's out. Unfortunately, I didn't get through. The 20 metre is reaching the final three. There's always 10 metre. Gamekeeper John is in the final. I think it's the first I've seen, 60 from 20 metre. So, if I can keep that in the other rounds, I'll be happy. It's a gripping finish, but there can only be one winner. Come on then! As Keith says, there is always the 10 metre, and Gamekeeper John is in the final of that too. It's a, it's a rough old case, isn't it? I'm gutted. It's a rough game. Bring on the beer. It's another tense shoot off. Normally, we've got a clear final by now, but because the stand is so high. Everyone's shooting 66 out of 70, and we've got to keep going until we get finals. It's unbelievable. Not two years ago, that, that would have won it. After examination of the targets, it's clear that he's won it as well. Here's Chip, who comes second. Don't matter how much practice you put in, it's all down to what you do on day. So, just do your best. Gamekeeper John wins the Welsh 15 metre title and even puts in a good score for shooting the polo mint at 20 metres in the fastest time. Man's on fire. Yes, that polo mint challenge. Skipman explains how it all started. In Andover a few years ago, uh, somebody came up to the table with his wallet and put the, ta uh, the wallet on the table and said the first person that hits the polo takes the wa wallet. So as he uh, walked away, I aimed the catapult and shot the polo on the first shot and I picked the gentleman's wallet up. So we said what we'd do 
is that we've got a sponsor, the Minotaur Group. Thank you very much to the Minotaur Group, Lynn Jones, thank you for your donation. Uh, and he donated a giant plaque uh, and some prize money and it's £300 to the person today which the polo mint. One of the bonuses of this championship is that it is as much a family day out as a national competition. There are people here of all ages, including the man who used to run the Chatsworth Game Fair Catapult event 25 years ago. There's always been enthusiasm, but it's never been catered for. Uh, now that's getting better, you know, people are putting themselves about and presenting shows like this. Another old hand at promoting the sport is Barbara Moxham. Uh, my son bought the business, Derbyshire Downs Catapult School, about three years ago. And uh, we go all over the country to the major shows. And um, we put on trophies. And the UKCA visit all these shows and uh, come and uh, win the trophies, hopefully. If you would like a catapult lesson at the Moxon's range at Worksworth, email garymoxon at hotmail.co.uk. There's young talents coming through at the championships too. This lad here never knew how to shoot, started shooting him, and it ran it. It only remains to hand the bulk of the silverware to Gamekeeper John and to make some emotional presentations. Silver is what you give to a baby because you don't give him anything else. And the stainless steel core is for the backbone of his mum and dad. Here's on here. For more about the UK Catapult Association, go to its Facebook page. It's £10 a year to join. There are a range of events including Chatsworth Fair, the Midland Game Fair and the field meeting at Andover in Hampshire if you think you're good enough.